Now we're back to using generated fill. Let me show you how you can remove people. On the left I've got the original, on the right I want to edit it. I was once friends with this person right here. Not anymore, so let's remove it from my memory and from my photos. By the way, if you hide this bar, you can find it up here on the window. It's called Contextual Text Bar. Just left click on it and it should pop up. To remove the person, I simply use the lasso tool like this. If you haven't selected it perfectly, like me here, just switch the mode up here to Adding Parts to Selection, it's the second mode. And then you can continue drawing and it will be added. You need to fix the right hand side as well. But now the entire person is covered. Just leave the prompt empty and let it generate. You may have to regenerate it a couple of times. Pay special attention to hands. This one would be fine. The hands are hidden, but it looks natural. This one doesn't work. For obvious reasons, both hands have different skin tones. And the first one even has one hand too many. As I've said, Sometimes you have to regenerate it, maybe even a couple of times. Just leave the prompt empty and click on generate to do it again. Let us check these results. This one would be somewhat fine, but the fingers look awkward. And here it generated a new person or tried to, so we can't use that. As always with these AI generation programs, it's a hit or miss. But Thanks to regenerating it, I was able to find good solutions so far for almost every photo. This one is somewhat alright. I would pick the second photo of the first generation, but it's generally the process that you can use to remove photos, to remove people from these group photos and other photos. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.